We're here in San Diego, the Botanical Building in Balboa Park. Here's a shrub among many here in the park, but this one's special. It's from India. It's called Calotropus gigantea. There's a sign next to it says, do not touch caterpillars, cocoons, or butterflies. So I'm guessing that on this shrub, we should find not to touch caterpillars, chrysalids, and maybe a butterfly will fly in for us. We've seen one today, but it hasn't approached this shrub. So this used to be in the old Asclepiadaceae family, the milkweed family is now mooshed into another family, the dogbane family. But the caterpillars don't care. They've been munching on this plant for eons, and they don't care what the botanical people do with their taxonomy. So here in the park, Calotropus is here for us to investigate up close. Here's a monarch caterpillar munching on the petiole of this leaf. And that's often what they do. They'll chomp on the petiole, the leaf will fall down and sort of hide them. This guy hasn't gotten to that point yet. You can see him holding on really tight with the pro legs and not so tight with the true legs. But those little mandibles going side by side are munching away on the leaves of this member of the milkweed family. Here's a milkweed flower with a munching caterpillar. Caterpillar eats leaves and flowers. I don't know if the nutritional content in the flower is any different than the leaves. I would think it would be less, but that caterpillar doesn't seem to care. The flower is unique in that it doesn't have powdery pollen, has little structures called pollinia, and it's a packet. It is sequestering poison from the tissue of this leaf. The famous monarch toxicity will be in his little body, and it'll end up through the chrysalis stage and into the adult stage. Kind of a protective feature, but look at him munch. <laughs> 